Continuing our team coverage, city and county officials are reacting to GM's announcement. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper spoke with a few of them today, and the city and county had a whole lot to do with today's big news. That's right, Heather. The city and county, as well as the Economic Development Alliance, have been working very closely with General Motors. The addition of a third shift and 700 workers is exactly what the three have been working toward. You could have knocked me over with a feather. Allen County Commissioner Nelson Peters. It means 700 good paying jobs uh, and, it, and it means uh, enhancing and building the community um, in a way that, that the city and the county have looked forward to doing. The hard work of officials from Allen County and Fort Wayne appears to have paid off. Obviously with them bringing the new lines on and now with the third shift are, are just part of what we've been continuing discussions with them on. The city and county say the credit goes to the hardworking people out at the Fort Wayne assembly plant. They have worked to become not only the number one truck producer in, in America, but the number one plant in the world. Because that plant is so productive and flexible, they're able to take on this, uh, these additional jobs. The Economic Development Alliance has pushed to make Fort Wayne Assembly the plant in the United States. We're there. Uh, there only were three plants in the entire United States where GM was bringing back the third shift, and this is one of them. The Alliance's goal is to now build on GM's success. I would like to use this as a great uh, banner for other companies to see that we have uh, management and labor that do work well together and that they should bring other manufacturing jobs here to Fort Wayne. Economic Development Alliance President Andy Udris says he hopes to bring other truck divisions to the Fort Wayne plant, possibly a medium truck division that was recently dropped by GM. All right. Thank you, Chris. Sure.